the Yezu FT710, the ICOM IC7300. Which one's got the better display? Let's find out. I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I got a question from a viewer about which display is better in direct sunlight, the Yezu 710 or the ICOM 7300? Now that I got my hand on both radios again, let's take a look side by side and compare both displays in direct sunlight. All right, here's a quick look at the uh, setup here at the N2MAK Proving Grounds. We have my tried and true 7300, but we also have my club's Yesu FT710. A uh, club bought this about a year or so ago, and uh, I used it last spring and haven't used it since. Excited to get my hands uh, back on it. It's for club members uh, to take out and use for uh, portable operations, uh, especially new hams. Uh, we just got licensed and maybe want to uh, try out the uh, transceiver and see if they like it for themselves. Also, worth pointing out, directly up there, we got the sun. So this should provide a really good idea of what to expect with uh, both of these radios in direct sunlight. Let's get to it. All right, let's get into it. Get both devices powered on. Did that turn on? There we go, I heard the click that time. Okay, so we got both the 710 and the 7300 out. The sun is directly behind me. You'll see my shadow. So I'm gonna try to get in between the uh, two receivers to uh, give you uh, an unobstructed view of, of what the display looks like. I know there's some scientific things like a lux meter and whatnot that I could probably do. Uh, to do a more professional test. This is gonna be purely subjective, my opinion based on what I'm seeing. So um, 7300, let's just double check. We'll go into the settings, display, and I got the LCD backlight turned all the way up to 100%. And let's take a look at the, uh, I gotta remember, okay, function. There we go. So we got the dimmer selected here and that is turned all the way up to 20. That's the highest setting, okay? All right, now I'm crouched down in like a catcher's position here with the camera. I try to get in between both radios, so I'm not putting either of them in the shade. Uh, you can see the shadow of my head right there. Um, here's a quick look, the 7300. And there's a quick look at the uh, 710. Again, the sun's directly uh, behind me. Uh, it's pretty bright and sunny out, which is unusual for upstate New York, especially this time of year. Um, if I had to say anything, it looks like the 7300 is a little bit brighter and visible. Um, I'm gonna try shimmying over a little bit more on the side. That's not helping at all. I get directly in front of there. You can see the Yesu is definitely pretty light and washed out. If anything, it looks like the screen, the actual screen itself um, is a little bit more matted, if that makes sense. A matted or muted in color. Um, 7300 direct on. I mean, it's still faint, but uh, I know I can see it and make it out much, much better all the all the numbers and the displays versus uh, looking dead on here. Um, again, this is just subjective. Um, not using anything scientific. Um, maybe I could take them apart and look and see if it says on the back of the displays what the resolution is or the uh, the brightness. And I think it's measured in nits, maybe. Um, but to me, it looks like. The 7300 is a little bit more clear and bright. 
since we're talking about displays too, I figure just mention this. I did uh, bring this up in the previous review and comparison of the uh, 7300 and the 710. If you haven't watched that video, um, I'll leave a link down below or put one up above on the screen. Uh, but one of the things I really like about the 7300 is the ability to see these multiple uh, meters here where I can see the ALC, um, the compression, um, the SWR, and the output power uh, and current draw all together. I prefer SSB. I've dabbled in some AM uh, and I do uh, digital modes occasionally as well. Now, being able to see the ALC uh, is great for uh, making adjustments in WSJTX to make sure you're not splattering all over. Um, and it's always helpful to be able to see an SWR meter um, and a power output meter as well to make sure that you're getting power out and that uh, something wonky isn't going on with the SWR or the antenna. Um, I found that to be helpful, especially when I've had a coax failure during a, um, a POTA activation. I was able to diagnose and recognize it immediately when I saw the uh, SWR meter change uh, drastically. On the 710, if you can see it, again, it's bright <laughs> out and uh, whatnot, but you do have a display up here and you can change, you know, uh, from the S uh, below the S meter, the SWR meter, if you want to see power out or um, ALC or SWR, but you're pretty limited. You're just going to be able to pick one and choose it and that's it. Unless I'm missing something and I haven't come across that yet and I'm still uh, spending time playing with it. So if you have any suggestions or you've noticed a better way to uh, tweak the display so you can see uh, several different meters at once like ALC, power output, SWR, signal, um, leave, leave a comment down below. Let me know. All right. And just for the heck of it to be truly scientific I quickly swap the radios so that they're on different sides just in case that makes a difference and you can see there's the uh, 7300 there's the 710 in this position I gotta say um, the 710 does seem a little bit more visible than it was uh, before in this position but to me from what I'm seeing and again I don't know how well the camera is going to end up capturing this um, it does appear to me that the 7300 is a little bit more uh, legible um, that said the way I have things displayed now I do have a smaller font for the frequency uh, than on the Yesu and that might impact things a little bit as far as visibility, but um, I'm, I'm able to make out both of them fine. Um, it's certainly bright. If I was operating in the field, I would probably cover and provide a little bit of shade. And you can see just putting my hand over there um, makes a difference, at least on camera and certainly to my eyes. So hopefully you watch and you'll be able to see, but uh, I'd have to give still the slight edge to uh, the ICOM. Hope you found this uh, review useful. Uh, if you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback and your thoughts though, especially if you've used uh, the 710, the 7300, or if, if you've been fortunate enough to actually use both like I have. Uh, let me know what you think about the displays in the comments down below. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 73.